Global no, Core Team, Saturday, to July 9th. Yeah. Say what? I'm just keep saying it to mine. Now it's sent me a Skype, but it's a little bit too late for her. Yeah, I added her as a check-in. Yeah, I added her as a check-in. Um, so we go with UTC time, so we just say it's Sunday, July 9th, right now. And this is uh, not a doc, it's notes, and this would be the global board. So we want to link the uh, global core team here as well. And we also want to link the global network. Main doc. So um, it looks like it's just the four of us. Can you guys hear me? Hi, you Yes. Great. Uh, let's see. Cool. So this could go pretty quick. So we have uh, our document. Uh, we have our recording and live feed going. Uh, does anyone want to help with facilitation? Note taking? Isaiah, we don't see the screen here. Uh, I can share my screen again. Um, is that better? Somebody's still sharing Zachary's Coinbase and Uh, does anyone help with timekeeping, video indexer, task responsibility master, note taking? I'll do, I'll do the master responsibilities, the master decisions, okay. and all that stuff. All right, but um, I'll, I'll thank you. Yes. Uh, Lucy, you're going to do timekeeping? Yes. Yes. Also, and video Abdul, you're going to help out with video indexing? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Okay, and then can someone help Steve with the task responsibility master? We're we're not very good at that still. And session value tracking also me. Okay. Oh, let's so I'll be on value tracking, Abdul. Okay, I can help. Yeah, don't worry about it. Can we help? Um, I'm very very worried about it because that's the thing that just never seems to happen. It happened today. It happened after I last. I know, but that, was, I did it. I know, but that's the problem is that the master document updater does it after the session at the end. The task responsibility master does it during the session. And it's about copying and pasting everything to the top so that we have all the projects, all the responsibilities, and all the tasks here at the top. Yes, I can do it also. I'm opening up all three of those docs right now. But that's the whole point is that you're not supposed to open up those docs. Okay. You're supposed to put them at the top of the actual doc. We're all working it, so it's fully transparent. We can all see what people sign up for together. We shouldn't have to okay. open up three or four different docs to see that. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. So, yes. I think I can also help uh, with uh, cool. uh, Steve also. Thank you, Abdul. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then I think Lucy was going to help with session value tracking. All right. So that looked all good. The only one missing is um. Session task responsibility verification. Maybe I'll do that. Ah uh, yes, uh, I think. Okay, so let's check in. I'll start. Um, I'm pretty good. It's uh, not too late here. Um, and. Yeah, I, I feel like we should, uh, that this is an important session. Yeah. 
and I'm glad that we're all here. I think we're a good group. Check. So who wants to go next? Uh, Lucy? Yes. Yeah, today is nice. We had a good session, and uh, we finished it well. And yes. And I'll go next. Steve? Okay, well, Abdul. <laughs> okay, um, I'm having a great day. Maybe a little overwork on a Saturday. You know, put in so many hours on a Saturday. And it's a little late here. It's midnight in New York. But we got a lot of stuff accomplished today. And that. Um, Abdul? I am really fine today, and uh, we finished a session, but it didn't say session, uh, and it's uh, really good. And now I am now in full moon session, and it's, I think it uh, will uh, go better for me and also for uh, people. And that's why I am. That's why I am. <laughs> Great. And I see. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm very much concerned about this session, and I'm very happy that I will cover one more milestone in this organization. Uh, what were you concerned about again? Concerned about this session, because everybody told me that this is a really, really important session, and you have to attend it. Well, can I? Um, Nobody has to attend. It's never um, mandatory. It's always optional. There's no mandatory anything. But it's definitely an important session. I mean, it's the full moon session. Uh, the full moon session, basically, and the new moon session happen twice a month. So they happen, you know, quite often. Uh, the galactic session coming up this week uh, happens once every six years. So it gives you a, a context of the importance of this session versus the galactic session on Thursday. Uh, did you have any questions, Asif, about the session? Uh, what, Steve? It's one of the hardest sessions to make decisions at. You know, it's a little higher than our regular sessions, and so some decisions will be reached with this session. Sure, but it's the it's the second lowest global session for the global session. Yeah, and we can look at the structure real quick. Why don't we let's look at the structure? So global structure. So we do our global structure is based on time. Um. And it might should be linked here at the top, but it's not. So the global network main doc should be linked right here at the top. I will link it. We can see here, this is our global structure right here. Um, we have our, our decision-making structure and our temporal structure. And you can see that the full new moons, this is the core team. Uh, we need a, a doc for our core team that um the note that you yeah, need to create a global stuff maybe one of you guys can make it so this would be a task that we want to add to our task list um so the mercury sessions happen quite often this is our management team they're every 44 days um, and then the Venus sessions happen three times a year, and the Earth session is twice a year, and the Mars session happens once per year. Ceres happens once every two years. Jupiter session happens once every six years. Saturn session, which is coming up next year, happens once every 14, 12 or 14 years. 
So, uh, and then our quarter moons will be our steering committee, and this will happen every two, every two weeks as well. So that's uh, that's our structure, and you can see here the we're we're uh, technically a, uh, and our network is based on the context of a legion. Elections once every two years, and our membership appoints the super bouncer, which appoints the executives, that appoints the member, the management, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, any questions about this global structure? Uh, no. Uh, can you just uh, explain a little bit more about this, please? Explain a little more about what? Explain a little more about what? About global structure. Because uh, the voice was uh, breaking bit. So what was breaking what? What was breaking what? I think the Wi-Fi was breaking. Didn't get what you did. The voice was breaking. And I just want you to explain briefly, not just briefly about, again, the Okay, yeah, sure. The main thing is simply that our global structure is based on our the natural time cycles. We have our meetings at synchronized times across the world. Uh, Lucy, could you link the core team doc to the notes, please? And, okay. Yeah, and then um, yeah, I want to get in the habit of you know, not using Skype, just using the notes directly. It's much easier since that's what needs to be anyways. Um, so anyway, so we, the whole structure is based on these temporal, these natural temporal cycles. They happen at all times of day or night. Um, you know, one of the things we need to start doing is um, we can offer bonuses for um, people going from 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. So this would basically be like night, and then day would be 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. would be like day. So this would be like normal, and then here, if you're in the middle of the night, you have to get up at like 4 in the a.m. in the morning, right? You should get some type of bonus. We could talk about that. That would be a, uh, a next step topic. Um, so in the context of um, the, the structure, the, the legion is the election, so this is like public elections, and then we have our, our membership, our, 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 our primary legal decision making, and then our executives and our management, and the core team is like where we actually start working together, and then the steering team coordinates all of the sub teams across the world. Does that sort of make sense, Asif? I mean, obviously, I could talk about it for much longer, but this is sort of a tangent. So. No, 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 it's just okay. No, it's okay. Okay, yeah, if you, have, yeah. if you have other questions, you can, but you know, overall, we just haven't really had a lot of meetings, like, um, and we're just getting this whole structure started. Um, but the important thing to understand is that the, the decision-making structure can change versus from the time session. So we technically can change the executive teams to meet during the Mercury session or the Earth session or the seasonal sessions or whatever we want to do to change it if you wanted to. Um, Lucy, do you have the link to the core team doc? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I linked there. You can check on, uh, on that structure. I linked. Awesome. All right. So, so this is gonna go doc right here. Global fourteen doc. And then we want to start tracking all our fourteen meetings. I think this is our second one. It is. We had one a few weeks ago. Yeah. I haven't been a lot. Cool. Awesome. All right. So let's get back to our, um, our desired outcomes. So for me, I want to. I would love to pass the budget. Um, this would be our, our 14 budget. I would love to. Um, I think there's some background noise. So if you want to mute, maybe it was like Lucy or Abdul. Uh, Abdul, could you mute or somebody? There's background noise. I say I, we can uh, uh, schedule on Australia session uh, in this session. Um, to the Australia okay. session. Okay, that's a good desired outcome. Um, so can okay, you, can everybody who's not speaking to mute 
when you're not speaking because there's speaking. really bad background noise really bad and background echo noise. and stuff like that. Also, I want to uh, intro. Oh, I wanted to do uh, do full moon elections, um, and also um, start appointing uh, or, or introduce introduce the senior manager position. Uh, any other desired outcomes? Any other desired outcomes? Um, to vote on whatever has to be voted on. Can you think of anything else? Things, I think. We're going to vote I on the core team budget. So do I think, one, didn't we have to vote on things that we had voted on in the, in the main sessions of the FBA voted on a bit by the core team afterwards? Um, I mean, they don't have to be because they're really just an extension of the core team. But okay, I, I mean, they would go to the management or the executives. But the, I think overall, um, if there is any particular proposal that we want to review, we can. Nah, there's nothing. Okay, so maybe maybe uh, goals for the next two weeks. So there's a lot of background noise again. So I want to uh, mute. So I think that's you, Abdul. Hey Abdul, did you hit the mute, Abdul? I just press the mute button. Like that. Oh my goodness, I can hear now. Oh, is that better for you, Lucy? Can you hear better? Yeah. Great. Ah. Uh, all right. Any other desired outcomes? At least we need to have one training per week on finances. Finance training, uh, schedule finance trainings. Okay. All, right. All right. So let's get these topics written out. I would say we just start with the budget. Um, maybe work on the Austrasia session. I would like tint structure, quintence structure. If all this comes under that. So elections and uh, senior manager position. Goals, two week goals, finance trainings. Should we end with finance trainings or do you want to start with that? I feel like we're going to do the finance trainings regardless of whether we schedule them. <laughs> but yeah. All right, next step, uh, next step uh, night bonus. Commu communications. You want to add I communications? What would be the desired outcome? Try to schedule a communications for a session. Okay. And I always want to bring up like other other branches of the network. Maybe some uh, time. Five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Structure, structure, maybe like two minutes, Austria's a session, two to three minutes. Election. That's 
that's a, I mean, this is a short section that should cover it, Jay. Two week goals, maybe 10 minutes. Finance training, five minutes. Schedule communication. How's that look? How's that look? Oh, All right, so are there any objections there any to the desired outcomes and topics? Outcomes and topics? All right, okay. it sounds like we have agreement. Like we have agreement. So let's get started. So let's get started. Let's start the budget. So this is a proposal, is to pass the, um, the core team budget. So the easiest way to find this would be to go to the, our new Project Docs virtual drawer, click on budget, and lo and behold, it is the first link, the first link right, here. right here. Um, I put a couple hours into the budget. I think it worked out pretty good. Yeah. And the most important part, of course, was finding the budget. The, the, the budget itself was originally passed at the Venus session. And for whatever reason, I just... We couldn't remember what session that we did it at, but of course, course it would be the Venus session. It was the Venus FQN. We never looked on the FQN. Exactly, because it was at the, it was on the same document. You had to look at the bottom of the same doc. So it was the Venus. So this is an executive uh, executive team session. So it's where we where we passed the budget structure, and this uh, gave us eight thousand dollars. Um, for the month and just so you understand what that means it means that we would charge the client sixteen thousand dollars right that would be like how we're supposed to do our budgeting you always want to double your budget for your client so that we don't go bankrupt okay um, let's open the budget take a look so we might as well just review the whole thing real quick um, I'm going to go through everything we went over from the Venus session very quickly, and then um, we will cover what the proposal is. So at the Venus session, we passed an $18,000 budget. This includes our annual budget, our half-year budget, our quarter-year budget, and then our monthly income takes the uh, the amount that we have from the annual half year quarterly budgets which is a uh, $3400 $3500 it's also in bitcoin and so that that comes up here so this is how much you get for annual or half year and a quarter budgets we add in the uh, the exit pro ops budget which actually is 4000 uh, increased um, we have our legal architecture budget increased by a thousand. Um, we have our VZ. Oh, actually, this is actually thirty-seven hundred. And then we have our VZ. Um, our VZ exa mesh accounting, and this is three hundred. That's six hundred. So three three hundred of that comes from the exit pro ops, so that's four thousand total, and then three hundred here. But this is actually a six hundred dollar budget for the VZ exit mesh. So we technically have three agreements and contracts right now. We also pop an additional two thousand in for just Rico budget that we're cutting from our annual budget, and then output add on a little bit and deliverables add. Additional cuts. So we're cutting about $3,700 from our 
other budgets. So of our entire global budget of $18,000, we're spending basically about half, right? You know, maybe it could be up between 18 to 20 Four hundred dollars. So you know, we're spending a lot of money in one month. Uh, so it's way higher than we should be spending. We should only be spending like you know a very small percentage of our budget, but we just need to spend a lot to help the client right now. So most of it is for the client. So it's an extension of their budget as opposed to ours. Okay. Any? Let's keep going here. So HR divisions, we break it down into the eight thousand for the base team budgets. The output, the output budgets are three thousand. The deliverables budgets is a thousand, so it's twelve thousand dollars total for our budget. Um, again, the deliverables budget and the output budget are are based on projects and achievements, whereas the base rates pay people for time, regardless of whether or not you actually accomplish it. Okay. And if you have questions about the bo the uh, the bonus uh, bonus hours, right? This is for uh, bonus hours. Just let me know. All right. And then uh, let's see team budget breakdown. Um, the America's full team doesn't really have any additional budget, but the global team does. Um. We break down the entire global, uh, like you have the global core team, right? So this is, oh wait, full team, no, this is the core team budget. So the whole core team is broken down into octants, and, and this is the global team, the America's team, the Sonic team, the Andromeda team, the Atlantic team, Pacific team, Rico team, and then you have the new quintants that we're, that we're putting together. So you're Africa, West, Atlantic, East Atlantic, Australasia, and Central Asia. So basically, the structure of the core team. Oh no! What happened? What I do? Why are there two budgets? Why are there two budgets? So let me just make sure you understand here. The core, oops, core team structure is the global full team and the Atlantic full team. This has about eight people. Has about eight. So we broke up our original full team into two full teams now. So we have two separate full teams that actually will function independently, asynchronously, and they each have their own separate budgets. But there's a single core team. So the most important thing you guys can understand about the global structure is that we are a single global core team, and then there are you know, basically like, you know, basically like one, two, three, one, four, two, five, three, six, four, you know, five, seven, seven, five, let's just say five to ten sub teams. So remember when you were asking Steve about, you know, that are made within like the Sonic team, the Andromeda team, those are really sub teams of the core team. So they're really a, a direct extension of the core team, and we all need to be working together globally. So any decision that's made in any one team basically is automatically approved with the, glo uh, the global core team and all the other teams simultaneously. And then if there's a problem with it, then you would propose to reverse that decision and then deal with and negotiate it. But but if any decision's made within any one team, it's it's already approved in all teams. So we're one single core team across the world. All right, so from there, you can see here that the global four teams budget is $2,200, which gives uh, team control a 70%, which is $1,540. And the America's full team as 5,800, gives a 70% control of 4,000. And the total is 8,000 total. And then the other $4,000 is output budget and deliverables. So you get with the output and deliverables by just actually completing the work so this is uh, this is the beginning so you can see the output budget here this is the breakdown of the output budget you can see the deliverable budget here you know it has the amount of bonuses you get for each of these different things um, the, and then here's the actual full team budget for the Americas so this is the full Americas full team budget which is, which is a total of, a total of 
Let's see. Five thousand six hundred and forty would be the uh, um, amount that we're we're proving. We can break it down now. Break it Let's down break it down. Now. So this just be equal to this plus that, and then this is equal to this plus that. Oh, here it's right there. Oh, here it's there. Okay. So the easiest thing to do so is actually just co copy and paste this entire thing into right. notes. Well, actually, not the whole thing. It's just the proposed budget here. That's a few days out of date, I think. Yeah. It doesn't have mine in it, means and... It does have you in a dream. Steven and Dream right here. Steven and Dream right here. With the new updated, but after we did that main team budget. I don't know. You guys should update it. I guess this is totally wrong. Totally wrong. Can't be off my mind because mine didn't change. Either did hers. So this would be like, um, yeah. what was the ideal? Yeah, oh, yeah, ideal is 3,200, right? Requested 450, yeah, yeah, lowest 200. Right. Yeah, that's right. My request it can't be 450. It has to be 650. Oh, it's 600 plus 200, 800. It's 800. Yeah, yeah. So of the 800, we're saying we do 350 for Steve, 200 for um, Andreen, and that's just 550. That's what we propose here. I want to bring this down a little bit. It's going to be 1700. And then that's that. So I think this looks pretty good. And let's just update this briefly. Update. Cool. All right, so let's review the global core team. I mean, the global full team. So what you can see here is that there's $460 left and then an additional $1,500 left for the public budget. And then over here we have um, a difference of 300 and 400 for the public budget. And we're obviously interested in hiring more people because we need a lot more help. So it's good that we have a little extra left over. Overall, I mean, the main reason why I wouldn't propose to increase the budgets for people is because we already have $4,000 available for output. It's like if you guys just do the work, you can get additional bonus hours. So I'm not particularly worried about people being able to make more money if they, if they want to do the work. So. Are there any questions about the budget at this point? And everybody fits into the budget. I mean, it's just awesome that we are in positive numbers. <laughs> and the only other thing to mention is that this right here, the Ulysses and Asif, has been approved. They're the only budget that got approved by the Sonic team. All the other ones are getting approved by the core team directly within the America's Full team or the Global Full team. So that's what we're voting on right now. Just one simple person. You don't think they change my PBT to MBT? Yeah, this one's a PBT. Yeah, this, one's a PBT. this one's an MBT. MBT. We should change it over here, too. Change it over here. Mm -hmm. Just notice it. I think this is an MBT now as well. Yes, I think it is. So I think it's helpful just to have the exact numbers. So it's 3,600 plus 200. 
bless. We love good 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 remain. For plus remain. Five thousand. Sorry, say again, Lucy. Sorry, say again, Lucy. Twenty minutes remain. Remain. Isaiah, one question. Uh, yeah. the, again, going into the time, the timing. Um, as a timekeeper, time the keeper, the focus is on okay. this time right here. Okay. Okay. So, how much time do we have left for the budget? The time for the budget is over. Okay, it's over. All right. Well, let's try to wrap up. Um, and we have okay. Good, we're doing that. Isaiah, I have a question on budget. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, for July and August budget and uh, Uli is included here. So, okay. Uh, yeah, Julie and Benji are still being proposed into the budget. I mean, they didn't quit or anything. Like, obviously, we could propose removing them from the budget or whatever, but um, currently, there has never been any intention or proposal to remove them. The only person being removed is Isaac. But I can see on the budget you only indicate uh, Abdul and Julius is approved. What about uh, others like Abdul, Abdul Zilu, Abdul Lucy Zilu and here. James? Lucy and James. So, so the Sonic budget, just to remind you guys, the Sonic budget is... $500. So it's just not possible to include more than a Steve and Ulysses into the Sonic budget, which is 354. So no one else fit into the Sonic budget. Uh, Lucy and James technically could have barely fit, but not really because if you take the 70%, it's only three. Sonic team controlled $350 for this budget. So it only fit Ulysses in a seat. So basically what we're proposing is that with the new global full team, that everybody else will get approved within the global full team and it's all green because we have enough money. So we have an additional $300 left over for the, full, uh, for the global full team budget. And with the America's full team, we have $460 left over. So it's not a lot of money. I mean, we're just barely in the green by like you know one person, but we're gonna be hiring more people too. Okay. Yeah. Any uh, any other questions about the budget? Uh, no question for me. Okay. I think we have to wrap up for that topic. Okay. Well, let's vote. Steve. I vote yes. I'm good. I vote yes. I vote yes. Yes. Also yes. So yes. Lucy, Lucy. Yes. Lucy, yes. Lucy, yes. Lucy, yes. Lucy, you vote yes. Yes. All right. So um, All right. the budget is approved. <laughs> Cool. All right, so we have a budget for the next month. That's very exciting. And just so you guys know, because I think it's pretty cool. I am very, very, very interested in switching our global budgeting and calendars to the lunar calendar, which would happen on a new moon. New moon would be the beginning of the month. And uh, if our calendar was actually, or my internet was working, I could show it to you. Oh, well. Anyways, eventually I want to switch to the new moon. The, the, right now, if you think about it, like Saturday, we have the full moon on weeks. The full moon will still be on the Saturday, which syncs perfectly with our weekly schedule. So it makes it really easily to switch from the Gregorian calendar to the uh the lunar calendar and the next time that will happen will be november so i'm actually thinking that because we're so i really wanted to do it in july 
and switch us to the lunar calendar, but I just couldn't. We were just too busy. We're, we're behind with so much work, you know, we're just not getting the work done. So I'm feeling like we should just go ahead and wait till November and switch it over in November. All right, what's the next topic? You ready to move on? Somebody had to mute their mic. Uh, Abdul, is that you? Abdul, can you mute? Unless you're talking. Yes. 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 Then you could mute Abdul, please. <laughs> Can you mute your mic, please? There we go. Thank you. Okay, so um, with the Quintin's new global structure, we break up the world into five um, sessions slash um, Quintin's uh, equals 4.8 hours per Quintin. Um, we overlap, overlap between quintants, uh, so it creates um, five, six-hour days. That's pretty much the structure. The five quintants are uh, in the budget. You can see them. Might as well take a look since it's there. So you have the Eur Africa Quintin, the West Atlantic Quintin, the East Pacific Quintin, the your your uh, Australasia Quintin, and the Central Asia Quintin. Um, Central slash Middle Middle East, is, the Middle East is included in this as well. Um, the biggest change with this with the quadrants is that the Americas quadrant gets broken up into the West Atlantic and the East Pacific. So that's the most substantial change. Each uh, quintet will be uh, semi-autonomous uh, and can have their own budget, decision making, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, their own languages and cultures. Are there any questions on the structure of the quintets? Yeah, so with the Australasia Quintin, it overlapped with the quadrants as well. So, um, but it's still the Quintins are more important than the octants, right? So, the octant schedule is our old schedule, and we're going to the Quintin schedule, which is exciting. So, we're going to talk about the Australasia session, then go into the elections and the senior manager position for the Quintins, and see where we go with that. So, uh, any, any questions? Before we go on to the Australasia session, does everyone understand the relationship between the Australasia session and the Quinton? No question for me. Okay. None for me. And the only other thing I'll mention is that the relationship between, like, for example, the and the Sonic team and the Australasia team. Is that the global full team umbrellas a few other teams, but that could get broken up as the teams get more people because the maximum number of people on a full team is, um, you know, basically about ten people. Um, the Australia Quintent um, basically can, you know, overlap somewhat with the Sonic team, you know, but it, but it's still the Sonic team and the Oceanic uh, Octant are still slightly. Uh, different timings in our opt-in schedule. But all that's going to evolve as we go into our Quintin scheduling, um, which again is the six hour, six hour days overlapping, 4.8 hours per Quintin.
All right, so let's go ahead and uh, schedule the Austrasia session. Um, this would be the Austrasia main weekly session. So it has to be sometime like you know, Sunday to Saturday. And there's that hour one, hour two, hour three. Enough. What do you guys think? Who 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 is most interested in helping coordinate and do the Australia session? Preferably somebody who's in that time zone. Otherwise, you know, if me and Jay have to do it, at least me, it comes out very late at night. I'll do it, but it starts I mean, at midnight for me. So I mean, part of me feels like we should cover the senior management position in the election, so people understand how that works with the Australia session and then maybe we can find somebody who's interested in sort of spearheading that and then scheduling it but we can also just schedule it i mean i will also say one thing yeah for so whoever does you know if somebody does decide they want to do it you will have a little of my help at least for two weeks at the end of or a week at the end of this one the week first week of next month because i will be from the 21st of June, July to the 7th of August. So if anybody who's, you know, a little nervous about taking it over or whatever, just know that I will be there those two weeks to give you whatever help I can. Okay, and I'll also be working either that section or the Saturday section or both. So I will be around. So if you feel like you might want to do it, but you don't know if you can, I will be there to help you. That having the gay having to stay up and, and later at night to work. <laughs> okay, that's you know if anybody feels like they would like to do it, know that you will have some help at the beginning. So one yeah. option one that option you guys could do, guys could I don't know if you guys like this, know, but I would recommend it. Like you could see this as, this um, as uh, a. Australia session. Australia session. So if we popped open so the popped Australia, Australia quadrant, quadrant time, quadrant time quadrant you can see here that it's 10 is the full moon. So, and it's also like the beginning of the week, like, you know, it's a Sunday. So Sunday, Sunday, Sunday morning might be a Sunday terrible day to do it, but if you wanted to do it Sunday mornings, you could see like today like being the first day. weekly first main session main because session. it's synchronized with the full moon. And then just do then weekly, you know, you know, weekly Sunday mornings could be the Australia main Australia. session, but I don't know, maybe that's a terrible day to do it. So you could choose any day you want to, but somebody needs to step up and move that forward. Otherwise, we should just go on to the elections and senior management position. Abdul, Lucy, Asif, anybody? Uh, for me, I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, I don't if, if people don't know and are interested, then there's really no reason to schedule it. I mean, the main reason to schedule is people want to step up, get more you know, organized, and be more independent. But otherwise, it's like that each one of these other Quintins can have a scheduled session, like a main weekly session for each Quintin. Um, that can, anybody can schedule at any time. So, so is this Australia Asia session, it will be today or it will be next week? It's not scheduled, Asif. It, there's no scheduled time, so that's what we're talking about. We're talking about scheduling it, but nobody seems to be interested. No, it's I not that it's uh, we interested on that. Maybe we can just see the, uh, the, the good day so that we can fix that one. I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe we can take the calendar and find a suitable day so that we can uh, fix that. The people who are in that Quintet needs to come up, need to come up with a day. Jay or I come up with a day. We're in the America Suite. We need the people from that Quintet to pick up, to take up the slack and come up with a day. Yeah, there's Us only... Speaking, there's only seven options. There's, seven There's options. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. That's it. Choose one, or you don't choose one. Okay, I think we can 
uh, choose uh, two or three days uh, per week on no, you can only choose one day for the main weekly session. That's all we're talking about is the single day. Unless you're level four, once you guys reach level four, you guys can schedule additional buddy team sessions. We can choose it as a main session for us three. Say again, Lucy. We can choose Tuesday and fix that for our session, main session. Well, you can propose to choose Tuesday. Yeah, you can do Tuesday. Yeah. Do you guys want to do Tuesday? Yeah, Abdul, 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 Asif? Yes. Yes, I have no problem on that uh, day. Tuesday is the, I think it's okay for me. And Asif? So Tuesday is good with USC? Tuesday is okay for me. I have no problem. All right, I don't think there are any objections. No objections? So it sounds like we have agreement. So now we just need to make sure we get the hours. Is it hour one, hour two, hour three? I would prefer hour one. That would be most likely that I would be able to make it. Yeah, me too. Um, does that sound good? Hour one? Yes. And then if you want to work afterwards, you have time after yes. the meeting to work. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, maybe like hour two or whatever, but, you know. Yeah. Yes, uh, hour one is better. Cool. Yeah, because then it could, it, it'll just be right after the Sonic Buddy Teams. You do the uh, Australia Main Weekly Session. Cool. I mean, not the, yeah, the Sonic Session. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that's done. So now we need to add that to the calendar. Let's make that a task. Add the... Uh, also add this to the buddy team. Uh, buddy schedule. Team. schedule. Abdul and, and uh, Steve, this is where you put the tasks into the task okay. above. I was wondering about that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So, well, proposals. Hour, one. hour one would be. Yeah, hour one would be eight a.m. in the morning. No. No, uh, hour one of the Oceana is 8 a.m. This would be 10 a.m. So it would be 10 a.m. Um, Asia, Asia time in the morning. Yes, after session, after, after Sonic session. It would, be, it would be immediately after Sonic session. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's really the Sonic buddy really thing. Cool. And just so you guys understand, this is part of the octant uh, schedule. All right. So I think we're ready to go more into the Quintons. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the senior management position for a little bit. Because uh, this is pretty, I'm really excited about this. I have been working on this for a decade, and then we are finally ready to, and this is part of our public launch. All right. This is like one. Uh, component of our public launch. So, I mean, this isn't exactly a proposal because it, it kind of exists already, but you know, we could vote on it if someone wanted to, to you know, have any questions or changes or whatever. So the position is the Quintet Senior Manager. Um, there's other names that we can use, but basically it's the, the highest, highest uh, ranked um, active, you know, decision maker. 
right? So, so there can technically be higher ranked people who aren't actively scheduled, right? So it's a scheduled active decision maker. So the idea is that they're, they're six hour positions and it's three days a week. Obviously you would get, you know, a, a break, lunch or whatever, you know, but the idea is that you would do it like, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday would be the other person. So each, each quintant would have um, two um, elected uh, senior um, maybe call them ad, admin managers or whatever. So basically you would switch off every three days. So one person would do three days and then you would switch off the next person would do the next three days. So if you think about it, six so times it's three, three is equal to 18 hours. 18 hours. So it's you know it's about a part-time position. They uh, they must be level four, and you have to be ranked higher than anyone else who wants a position. Uh, which means that it's part of the election. You have to be elected into it, right? Elections, and then highest uh, ranking uh, gets the uh, option to take on the position. Uh, they will have a lot of independence. Have a full, in, well, I'll say interdependence. You know, so so it'll be a, have full decision making and be able to basically run and start building the foundation of the, the quintant. Um, you'd be coordinating the buddy teams and the sessions for for that quintant. Um, as well as be the you know the the face and voice of the public interaction. You'd be able to make emergency and urgent decisions on behalf of the entire global network. So during your quintant time um, uh, you are the most powerful decision maker as a active scheduled decision maker in the entire global network, not just for your quintant. So it holds it holds the baton of the global um, network. And then the, the highest ranked active worker during the, the quintant um, is, is what this is. It's a scheduled, right? That high through it, like I mentioned, but there are there can be higher ranked global content workers um, that could be awake and active at that time, right? So, and but they don't have legal authority. Only the scheduled active worker has legal authority, and if there's a discrepancy, only two higher ranked leaders can override the scheduled active manager, and they have to come to consensus. Otherwise, the the active Man administrative manager is the, the sole final decision maker on any emergency or um, urgent decisions. So that's the position. Do you guys have any questions about it or ideas? Uh, no question for me uh, because I understand all this. Cool. So now the only I other thing is the uh, Lucy. Oh, you have a question? Say what? Say what? Uh, we need to wrap up. Our time is over. Five to ten up. minutes. No. How long is the session, Jay? Oh, I thought we were. Uh, thought we, were uh, we scheduled. What did we do here? It's only an hour, didn't you? An That's hour? Well, I mean, we scheduled. You know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, let's say it's about 50 minutes. But we started like 20 minutes in, so we scheduled for about an hour and a half. Yeah, Jay, this position, this position of a manager, it is a performance based or it is election based? It's election based. Yeah, so it's controlled by the public. Uh, this, this position would be fully controlled by the public. Uh, 
Um, I, I think that in our network, the better performing you are, obviously the more opportunity you will have to voice in your face in front of the public. So I think that there is, there is space to um, support higher performing um, individuals. Okay, I don't want to take much of the time, but can you tell me that uh, how the performance is ranked? How the performance is what? Ranked, sir. Uh, ranked. How the performance is enhanced? Um. Well, yeah, we can go. We can go over that really quick right now. This is good. So let's pull up the personnel support doc. I mean, wait, wait, before you get into this, is everyone okay doing like another 20 minutes and, and, and then wrapping up? It's okay. It's okay, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so we want to find our global, does anyone have the link to the global election stock as well, uh, forum as well? Oh God, <laughs> I haven't seen that one in a while, so let me dig. I think I might actually have it right here. Okay. Uh, I just need to go to James. He sent it to me. So now my computer is freezing. Oh, oh, it's gone a little bit. All right, looks like I have it. All right, looks like I have it. Okay. So. Let me go back to our notes. Okay, so now we're going to go over the, the rankings. Rankings. I like that I'm higher with the rank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we have three, there's three sets of rankings. So three sets of rankings. You have um, the HR budget rankings. Um, you have the um, it's basically the contribution rankings. Right, and this thing, this doesn't really include performance. It's more of like, you know, your your work output. And then, um, so it's, it's based on your performance, but it's 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 actually more like hourly, like how many hours you're putting in, the number of hours, etc. Uh, and then the last one is um, elections and evaluation. So our evaluation system and elections are interrelated. So these are our rankings for our HR board. Heather is at the top. She's basically all of our bosses. Um, the HR rankings has full power to basically hire, fire people, and to um, tell people to stop working. Um, with your client time, this ranking is basically like you know the output and the work they're doing to get us paid, to bring in the money, and help out with the with the actual work that needs to be done. And so this, and the so people who have high rankings have here high rankings. basically have the ability to tell people what to do. Like the type of work that you're doing, what you're working on, your assignments, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then your evaluation rankings are, are, can be combined with the elections, you know. So evaluation is basically self-evaluation, you know, group evaluation, evaluating. Um, different um, people on the team, and then there's the elections, which are, are you know similar to the difference between elections and evaluations is that in an evaluation you give feedback, so you actually give feedback and say like, you know, I think that you should you know improve your um, your 
audio or whatever, right? So that would be like an evaluation. Whereas when you're ranking somebody for the elections, you're just, you know, it's you don't really have to evaluate them. You can just rank them based on your, your interest. So these are the current uh, rankings by Quentin. So you can see Nelly and Steve. Uh, well, Steve's, you know, with Anna Clara, right? They're, but Nelly and Steve are the top for West Atlantic. Um, Abdul and Zilu are the top for Central Asia. Ulysses and Benji are the top for Australia. And then for the your Africa, you have Lucy and James. And then me and Heather for the East Pacific. Is it? Yeah. I think uh, I need to that also. Say again, Abdul, I missed it. Yes, because ranking is not, uh, is not correct on ascending or descending. Oh, that's because they're ordered by Quintet. Okay. Right? So you can rank them all globally. And this is how, when you rank them globally, this is how you can have somebody ranked higher, even though it might be like the West Atlantic. You can have someone ranked higher from a different quintent who's active uh, or you know involved in a session. So basically, that's that's the only way to have people ranked higher, but it won't happen as often as things evolve. So um, the other thing to think about is that this position is pretty involved, right? So let's take, for example, the. Uh, the Central Asia position, right? We can ask Abdul, hey, Abdul, would you like to be the, the Central Asia position and start taking that on once you reach level four, right? Obviously, you'd have to reach level four first, uh, but you don't have to do that. You could say no, and then it would automatically go to Zilu, and then if Zilu said no, I mean, basically, we can assume that the third person would be Asif, right? He hasn't been voted on yet. But he's obviously in Central Asia as well, right? So, so okay. basically, if if either Abzilu or Abdul chose not to do it, Asif would automatically be the next in line in the ranking to take on the position, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's how the ranking works. Additionally, somebody can choose. Like, let's say someone just naturally likes to be awake in the middle of the night. They don't have to be in the actual quintent where they live. They can, anyone can operate and be the, the, uh, in, within the election of any quintent across the world they choose. You don't have to, it's not based on location, it's based on you being awake and active. Quintents are scheduled where the most number of people in that part of the world are awake and active. Um, so that's how they're scheduled. Uh, did I answer your question, Asif, in terms of the rankings and how they work? Yes, it's, uh, yes, they, it's cool. very much clear now. So we would do uh, we would do elections like on all the natural time cycles. Like we could do full moon elections, new moon elections, like global, and um, we're gonna we're gonna, we have on Thursday there'll be the galactic elections. You know, but you can go ahead and vote right now if you want to. And so you're just voting on, you know, who you want to be. Um, So they're just voted. You can vote like basically at every single like session you can vote. So for example, the full moon session, we would take the vote from the previous end of June and we would add them together. I think it does make sense that people who are more actively involved and vote in more sessions would have more of a say in who the elected representatives are. So I think it does make sense that you would take the accumulative rankings over time. So uh, anyway, so everyone can vote. 
for the full moon ranking, and then uh, we can basically assume the rankings will be very similar to what we have. So obviously, you know, Lucy, Abdul, um, Steve, Jay, we all could become the take on these new positions if we wanted to. Is anyone um, want to take it on? Like, I certainly am down. You know, I'm a yes. Of course, I'm down. And it would technically be Nelly. We would want to see if Nelly wanted to do it, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see. But Steve, it's a it's a pretty you know it's six hours, three days a week. Three days a week. I can handle it, and I'm there anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm up. I'm up. It doesn't matter. I mean. Okay, we'll get there. Uh, Abdul, how about you? Do you want to take on the position, Lucy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, are you, are you interested? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. All right. So, anyways, we'll we'll move forward with that over time, and we'll and we need to add. A, oh, we need to add a, add a thief and other new recruits to the global elections form. So that's another task that needs to be done. All right, so I think we're done. Okay, yeah. Any other questions, Abdul? Any other questions, Abdul? No, no, Jay. All right, cool. And and again, even though we, we all agreed that we want to take on these positions, so Lucy would be your Africa, Abdul would be Central Asia, Steve would be uh, where, uh, East at uh, no, West Atlantic. I always mess that up. And I will be doing East Pacific. So the only one missing here is uh, Australia, right? Yeah. Me and um, me and Steve have actually been doing some recruitment, and there are a, a huge number of people from the Philippines who are interested in working with us. So. There is a very high probability we could get, you know, a whole new group of people from the Philippines involved very soon. Um, but we have at least five people that we're actively recruiting. These are this is another major responsibility. Is um, uh, what do you call it? Like onboarding of new recruits. So we need to get like you know Abdul, Lucy, you know, helping out with that. And you can see this on the other uh, public rankings. Um, so we haven't ranked you, Asif, on the, in the team rankings yet, but you can, we can easily see how high you're ranked in the public rankings. So Steve is number one in the public rankings. Then you have Adnan. Um, Adnan is very interested in getting involved. Uh, I'm really excited about him getting involved. Uh, Riri is from Jamaica, brand new recruit. Uh, we just had him recently um, uh, be interested like a week ago, so we need to get in touch with him right away. Brenda is excited about getting involved. I finally heard back from her. She was involved like two or three years ago. She's been involved for a long time. And I've been in touch with her for a while, and she's in your Africa, so she'll actually be um, helping from your Africa. Rana, we tried to get, in, get them involved. They haven't been. Zeline is another new recruit, right? So you have the emails here. There's the emails you can get in touch with them. And then here's Asif, although Asif's moving down a little bit in the rankings, but that's okay. And then there's me. Um, Hatim, I mean, basically, you know, all of these people we're going to be recruiting. Uh, you know, probably even these as well. Um, anyways, we're, we're, let's, not, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Because there's a whole bunch of new people that we need to rank, right? There's at least uh, 10, 20 people who've just recently signed up in the last two days. So we're going to need to update all of these and then rank them and see where they rank in the system. Right. And this is the public rankings. And then we just go down. I mean, the goal would be to hire everybody across the whole world, but it's like we can't hire everybody. So we just give as many people a chance as possible. Um, and just hope for the best. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, and then Eve, Eva is exciting because she's a, uh, our newest local recruit. Because I need all the paperwork. Can you call her back? 
after I sent her an email, and you know, she—I don't know if she got back yet. I could look. All right. Uh, might as well look since we're on it. No, she didn't. She didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't email back. All right. So, um, All right, so let's move on. Any last questions on the, the rankings or? And so this right here would be a responsibility. Um, so Abdul and Steve, you want to add this to the responsibilities? All right, I will. And then just to make sure that we understand here, just like look at global um, public rankings, public rankings, and email people with the template email in the recruitment. Um, And here's the recruitment doc right here. And here's the template email. This would be the template email for recruitment, which would be this one, global recruitment follow-up message. It's right there. And I will just go ahead and link this. And you guys should be doing the, the organizing as well for the- I've already added the master, I've already added the stuff to the master test list global. For the adding the sessions, and I'm working my way through everything. Okay, but did you add it to the top of the uh, the notes? I'm doing that next. Okay, but that's more important because you can always right. add them all to the master task list and all the master lists at the very end. It just takes a few seconds or a few minutes, right? All right, so let's move on, and I think we're almost ready to wrap up. I mean, I'm asking, uh, which way should we look at when we send a mail to those recruiting people, people who recruit? Yeah, so so right here I linked the, the what's called the recruitment doc. Mm -hmm. And so if you click on the recruitment doc, it would be the global recruitment follow-up message, right? And the most important part, most important look, I part used yours, Lucy, yours, Lucy. Is, uh, is this part right here. We accept your offer, and so you have to use the offer that's in the public rankings. So you go to the public rankings, and remember, everyone chooses their own rate and can change their own rate at any time. It just, it just takes effect on the next budget cycle. So if you go to the rankings, you would just go to their, uh, you know, their lowest ranking, whatever, and it says, and it says that it's going to spin. <laughs> there we go. So, like, for example, <laughs> so for Nelly, we would say that you would be working $650 a month for 20 hours. And you put that right into the email. Right here, so this would be six hundred and fifty dollars for twenty hours, right? And then the only other thing you have to change is is which link to the calendar you would put. So this one's UTC minus zero, which would imply they would be in your Africa. If they're in Asia, you'd put UTC minus six. If they are in Americas, you'd put oh no, Asia would be UTC plus six. Americas would be UPC minus six. And everything else stays the same. That makes sense, Lucy. That makes sense, Lucy. Yes. Cool. Yes, I understand this. Awesome. Yeah, let's get some new people recruited. That'd be great. So, anyways, I think we can check out now. Let's uh, have our checkout question be, you know, what do you think the most uh, important goal should be for our next two weeks? I guess you can say, you know, most important, you know, one to three goals. But they got to be quick because we're checking out. And you guys, uh, you know, our only other option besides checking out right now would be to extend time to talk about like the scheduling and go over the wrap up. But I'm fine just checking out. Do you guys want to do more scheduling and wrap up and go over the tasks and stuff, or are you guys ready to check out? Doesn't matter. I think. Uh, the 
most important goal is to update the global global document folder on three of on is uh, global document folder uh, need to change the ownership okay so um uh, so that would be the uh, it's called the the documentation verification spreadsheet uh, okay. which is different than the folder so this includes both the folder and the ownership of all the documents so so that's you know what I'm talking about you know where that is right yes uh, right, and any, any other goals Uh, Abdul, how did the meeting, how did the session go for you? And if you have any other goals you want to add. Abdul, are you there? I guess we lost you. How about a seat? You want to go next? Yeah, uh, uh, actually, I think that there's more potential in, I think there's more, more potential in, you know, having a good position. Be at the next level as soon as I can. The, the next what? As soon as you can. Next level, like I'm free. I I I wanted to be at level four as soon as possible. Great. Yeah, that is that is I think definitely one of the most important goals that we can do is get everybody up a level because it gets us organized, right? It's basically a worker and uh, uh, personnel support. So this is also responsibility right here. And then here we have two responsibilities. And how did, how did the session go for you, Asif? It was quite informative. It was quite good session. But uh, you know, I love uh, I love to be here. Awesome. And one of the things that I love one about this love session. About I'm sorry for. Sorry I'm gonna go next to it's like a. Okay. You're entitled. I know, aren't I? Uh, let's see if this works. Today it is 100%. You're at 100% moon, which is very exciting. What's 100%? The moon. You're breaking up a little. The moon is 100% because we're a full moon. We're a full moon. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So um, I could also show you guys my snazzy app. That I, so that I love so much. So what I'm most excited about is definitely having the full moon session. I think that's really cool. Um, how can I do that? I can't do it. I have to stop my screen share. I'm going to have to do video. And can you guys see it? There you go. Yes. Ah. Up in. Nice. Oh, okay. oh, that's nice. Good. How so, many courses does that have, Jay? It has uh, it has point zero it's point zero 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 uh you know it's very scientific. Very scientific. It doesn't show what happened. That's weird. Oh here it goes, there it is. Oh, here it goes, there it is. The, it's 99.9918 or 99.79. Anyways, I like it because it has lots of. Uh, you need to keep that one to put on all the full on all the full moon section stuff. We're gonna put on mine. Yeah, and we're gonna be doing um for the full moons. Uh, we're actually our entire lunar calendar. Every single session will be in the lunar time. Because we do, we use lunar time and lunar days uh, and selling time. Anyways, for me, the Anyways, most the important thing for the next two weeks, and I have to agree with the chief. 
I'm excited about Full Moon. I, so I would say that I'm excited about the Galactic. And and I also just have to say that we need to do the um, uh, taxes for both FQN and... Yeah, well, when do you want to leave it? If you want to work tomorrow or... I think we can wait till Monday. Okay. I'll let you know um, though if I want to schedule something. All right, All right. that's All me. Right. I'm that's done. Check. Okay, I guess I'll go. I've been to a lot. I've been to a few global sessions where it was just me and Jay in the past, and it's nice for a change that it's not just me or Jay or just Jay alone. It's nice that people are willing to stay up a little late who, who care about what comes with this organization. Um, hopefully some of the other stations will be at better hours for some of the other people so they can come. Um, I look forward to the Australian section setting up the Quinted. That would be very nice. Um, and that's about it. Any other goals? My goals to schedule a global communications first session. Um, we can, I'm going to put that as a, as a, um, a next step for the next global meeting. So that's okay with you, sir. Yeah, let's add that to, uh, to the next steps here. Another schedule. Yeah. Thank you. Lucy. Yes, yes. Hey, today's session is nice and I love it. We propose the budget and also how to recruit other members, new members to join us because we have a lot of work. I think we can do that. And I love today's session. Any goals? My goal is to move forward and Make sure those are recruited are joining us successfully. Well, awesome. And the only thing I have to add here is that um, this Quinton senior manager, they're also like, so each Quinton will have two managers, right? And then they're required to send one a, a, a minimum of one of the managers to uh, represent the Clinton at the global steering team, which is the quarter moons. So as we get this new structure together, uh, we're going to be doing the quarter moons. So the quarter moons happen every week with the full moons. You have full moon, quarter moon, new moon. You know, quarter moon, full moon. You know, so it's uh, it, it becomes a lot more global sessions when you start adding a quarter moon in and doing the um, the steering team. So, but the steering teams are important. The steering team is the the only place that'll be coordinating between like the actual coordination between all of the teams across the world. Yeah. So at the core team meeting, we function as a single team, but the steering team actually looks at them all independently as individual teams and how they can all be working together better. Because in the end, we're one we're one global team. All right. I'm excited. I think this is really the beginning of uh, our transformation into like a, a functional global organization. It's pretty exciting for me. So thank you guys all for being here. This is really cool. Thank you, Dave. Yes. Thank you, Dave. Until uh, hey, uh, tomorrow. Is the onboarding um, of the new recruits uh, a responsibility? A responsibility or priority? Yes, we're giving that as. Um, this is uh, onboarding. This is a responsibility. Well, it's both. It was okay. both. If someone could uh, undo that, it'll just see how it's both. So they messed it up. So it goes like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Whoever did undid it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So it's a task and a task. Uh, 
So we're we'll going both. So, um, so I go here. I put, all right, I'll put in both. I already, I already updated the decision stack. That's done already. That's um, I, would put, I would put this as a as a task, right? <laughs> I mean, as a responsibility, and then this one would be a task. And again, you know, we probably had about five or seven tasks throughout the meeting, and there's only one or two. I have, I have three of them up there already. Three. I only see one. No, now there's two because I put I put two. I put up and a shift another new host in global elections form. But it says priority tasks. It says, it says right tasks. here. That's right. That's right. I added it. Somebody must have played with it. Weird. I added it as we were doing it. Weird. But it says priority tasks. Okay. Well, I don't know. Weird. I'll put it again. I will do it again. Well, anyways, I think we're I think we're done. I'm gonna work on the uh, the session verification spreadsheet, and you guys can work on the session value tracking, and then we're done. Okay. Copy. Paste. You have to do with the add your shares to the main weekly session global calendar. And, and I had done all these already. I don't know why they, who or whatever, moved them. Someone must have but, deleted um, them. I don't know. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah. Of course, I put them as we were doing it. I was trying to keep up and do it as we were doing it. Abdul, did Abdul? you do that? Maybe he disappeared. <laughs> How do those ideas will blame us to a lot? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are we alone? Yeah, no. Jay, yeah. can you approve people to level four? Uh, only if they meet the um, the uh, the requirements for level four. It shouldn't be too hard, but you got to learn how to record. You need to be a, uh, approved for five responsibilities so you need to take on you need to have five responsibilities you're signed off to do i think you need to check uh, because for me i have responsibilities and i think you need to check and approve if someone is making a right uh, responsibilities or not so that you can see them. uh yeah we go through I mean, it we go through it in our main weekly session so um we're really close to approving uh nelly and steve but we didn't in the last session because they you know mainly just the recordings and then obviously we're getting close to you and, and abdul but you guys still have talk about it on um on wednesday morning at the sonic session and then also tuesday tuesday morning at during the australia session you can talk about it as well okay okay yeah, but well, it shouldn't be more than a couple of weeks. If you guys focus on it, it'll and prioritize that. A couple of weeks, you'll be you'll be good to go. But but technically speaking, if someone just like focused, did their training, you do one, two, three, four, five trainings, learn how to do five responsibilities, you should be able to do it all in one week, and and be in level four very very quickly. It shouldn't be that hard for someone brand new to just do five trainings, learn how to do five responsibilities. Document it, document it, get approved, move on. Okay. Yeah. Um, nobody took attendance. I'm just gonna fill it in today. Oh, good. Everyone was everyone was early, but you. <laughs> Me? Oh yeah, yeah. That's you were I was on time. You came at three minutes. You came at three minutes after. Yeah. We were all there. I was there at ten two. You came at. All right. Well, I was. I, don't I, even go there. I wasn't on time. All right, fine. I was a little. No, no, but. Oh, wait, I'll wait. give you on time. Okay. I'll give okay. you on time. I just won't give you early. But I did I did prep for the session though. I did a lot of prep. So you can add me for preparation. I know you did. Yeah. And listen, and don't you think you know that they you know why did you back three times to answer questions while we were supposed to be off? You know. And it doesn't matter, I'm sitting here doing nothing anyway, so watching TV and talking to everyone. Thank <laughs> you.
and I get off, stop working, spend a little time, another day off talking to her. We actually did reminders for this one. That was excellent. Although well, they weren't public, yeah. but it's good enough for me. Better it than, is Saturday. It's better than but it zero. is Saturday night. But it is Saturday night. Yeah. You know. It's better than zero people. Better I mean, a Saturday night full Saturday moon night. session. I think we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. I'm very yeah. happy with our yeah. turnout. Thank you guys all. I don't I don't I don't know what it even is because some big turn out it wasn't immediately following the um Sonic, but sure. either way. Yeah, in in uh what you guys will find is that our, our rankings, especially on the global level, we haven't Right now, we're just focused on you know our, our quadrant rankings. But when we do our team equities for the global team, only people who show up for the full and new moon sessions will be getting team equity and be actually getting the the rankings and the credits for the global the global team. So it's like getting up in the middle of the night and and, and, and attending these sessions are going to get you a lot of value in the long run because it's a it's a lot of work. So I added I added the full moon elections. And uh, the blue season later, Abdul said, I'm almost not a Yogi specific to the decisions, Doc. I had the H1 10 a.m. America's Time proposal for the Sonic, following the Sonic Brothers team. Um, I have to make an addition in there. We're not saying what it is. Proposal in Australia and section. Are you asking a question? We didn't know uh, what it is. We didn't write what is in the proposal. Are you asking me a question? I got, I got it now. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got it. I'm just checking my, you know, my, all my proposal here. Sonic team doesn't tend to remember Hello, the off there. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I think we need to working on session hello tracking right now. Yes. So what we did pretty good overall for the full moon session. We're at 54. Uh, eventually, our goal is for every single session, we're 100% every single time. Right now, we're still kind of floating around 50% on our sessions, but eventually, I think we'll um, be just flawless. We'll get there. Now, our decisions doc is good. Our decisions doc is good? All right. Let me update that. Items that we made. Has anyone heard from Ulysses? Okay. No, not for a little while. I Skyped him, but he hasn't gone back to me either. What about Zillu? Yeah, I heard from Zillu. He yeah, said he was having internet problems and that he's upgrading his internet and he's excited about okay. getting back involved. No, he does good work when he's here, so yeah. Yeah, we like Zillu. Where is, where is he? You know, I don't know. He's in Bangladesh along with Abdul. They're both in the thing like that. Okay. 
Although they're in different cities. Uh, in America, but where we're what? Four hour time difference, three hour time difference, and, you know, a long plane ride apart. So, uh -huh. Yes. But America's a lot bigger, or United States is a lot bigger than Bangladesh. Yes. I told Devlin, About I said, once you come to, once you come to, she doesn't have time with you now. I said, once you come to put to um, Georgia, you're going to be working for us too. You know? Nice. Listen, she's very good. I mean, she's a hard ass. Well, my girl works hard. She works hard for slave, for slave wages. So. I think some of our people on the on the global scale make more money than she does, which is uh, pretty sad. I can see James going places too. I mean, I don't know how bad we're James. Okay. Um. So the decision doc has the three decisions that we made today. The master task list has the tasks besides that they're on the full moon set. Although, wait, I got one of them in there. Okay, let me see this. And master task has alias. Has alias radio stuff and everything else. Okay, so we throw this. Goes to the master task list. The master task list is now updated. Hi, Lucy. What? Yes. Yes. I think uh, check-in just uh, for Google today, right? That was not text Yes, just checking. I'm asking. Just checking. Who's Nelly? Okay, no um, problem. Could somebody? Or I'll do it. We have a core team doc, but nobody linked today's. Oh, yeah, I got it. I think, I think, is I Zillow around? I think I can see you put Zillow. Yes. Yes, uh, when you uh, see that. Was not there. there. Yes, that's checking that. Uh, when I go to the checking, then Zillow is available. Is that correct or not? Oh, Jay. Yeah. Just so you know, for our earlier stuff. And we did make a doc, a doc for the three of us. It's at the top of the session. Man, hold on. Yes, hold on. Zilu, okay. check in. Because I agree with Lucy. I never saw Zilu check in. Hold on. I can't hear you. You're very low. Me? But yeah, what, go ahead. Uh, can, you, can you show us where Zilu checked in? I don't know. I don't think I Zilu will checked on. in. I can show you guys where. I'll look um, on Skype. I'll look on Skype. Hold on, I'm looking on Skype now. Yeah, here's where Nelly checked in. She said, "Hi, it's too late for me, but I'll try next time." So Nelly definitely checked right. in. But I don't think Zilu checked in. I don't know where you're getting that from. I would think I'm all the way back to I'm all the way back to yesterday. I'm see Zulu, Zulu on the main on the Sonic. Yeah, I mean um, Zulu. I'll look, Zulu the, I'll look on the Andromeda. Just like no, he's not on the Andromeda. Well, for Zilu to have checked. Have, for Zili to have checked in, he would need to check in in the last few hours, and he didn't. Right. And he would need to check in on one of the Skypes somewhere, and I don't see him on any of the Skypes. No. So. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now he's checking in right now. Does that count? Though? I don't know if that yep, counts. Right now. That time yeah, is not. Checked in. 
He just checked in. Wait, don't you need to check in like during or before the session? That's pretty, you know, nip and tuck. Thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him check-in credits right now. I'm sorry. I know it's like you gotta, you gotta check in before or during the session. I think. I even get stupid make mistakes. <laughs> I think we can also make the uh, the new uh, team, which would be the Australia team. Yeah. We scheduled it. So this would be um, me. Oh, yeah, that's I'm on there. Abu. Uh, I mean, it's certainly possible that the Australia team will be made up all of the Sonic team, and they'll just be working. You know. Um, but oh, yeah, they could, we, need they could hire, we need to hire some new, we need to hire some more Australian people. Yeah. Yeah. And we we could diverge a little bit because there's, de sure. it's definitely very, very early. The Sonic session, the Oceana is very early for some of yeah. Asia. You know? Um, the Australia is actually a little bit later for the people in the Philippines. It's like... Afternoon, practically. Uh, well, they, uh, well, the filming is twelve hours different than me. Right now, it's quarter to two in the morning there. You know. Yeah, no doubt, I'm so free. All right, I'll also link down with this session to the core team doc, and I will put the core team doc link at the top of the, at the top of the full moon session if nobody did. Let's see. Where's the core team is? Or well, they won't quibble with the map, but it's not a link, so. Make a link on this. Tell whoever makes quote, you know, docs it for like a team like this. I think it was yours. Either you got a link to doc, the core team doc, to the session doc. And also. Sunday, 8th, 9th, or Sunday, 9th.
We should start highlighting the um, uh, green what? on everything when we're done. So, so this is yeah. I, I, I've taken to doing that also, just so you know. Right. I've taken to doing that. I'm thinking it's done too. Um, like I'm linking the global doc to the full. I'm linking the core team doc to the full moon Celine moon doc since that's a global session. There we go. Global clicking doc is now linked to the full moon Celine moon doc. Okay. I think my job plus some of that wasn't my job is now done. Um, okay, for work, my work responsibilities. We're working on the release doc. I think we should just give Zilu the, uh, the, uh, the point. I mean, he is on the video, right? So he's in trying in there. So I'll give you his point. Yeah, but well, you know, when I'm doing, I'll get everything done. I mean, he technically did check in before we finished the um, the session value tracking, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, but check that's after session work. That's not good checking work. I know, but it's like I know, I know. You're being facetious. I know. Well, I no, know. but I, but I mean, it is true. Like even though it's after the session, it's still being broadcast live on YouTube right now. So all right. So if you want, if you want to give him the check in, I'll, I'll give him the check in. I mean, I mean, he did he did check in live on YouTube. Live. So okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Fine. I'm bad. Listen, I don't. I, I really don't mind giving him the check and it's not a big deal. I'm just being, you know, contrary because I've been doing this for too many hours today. I know uh, how Dave feels today. Speaking of it, I think I'm gone. I'm ready to stop. I'm going to close down. So here. am I. I'm just updating. I'm just updating. The many things I did, I, I had to fix all the docs. Not, nothing was linked right, so I okay. fixed all the links. I got all the links in the right place. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the broadcast. This is a great full moon session. Yes, I can stop the broadcast. Shout.